It's a fitness bike, right? Hybrid, some call it. But why not turn it into a hybrid for doing multiple things? That was my thought. The Trek FX3 started out as just a fitness bike, and it's turned into a semi-light touring bike. So let's talk about that a little bit. So here's where we're at now in the evolution of my Trek FX3. As I said in the intro there, what started out as a fitness bike really morphed into more of a, what I consider to be a semi-lightweight touring bike. Now you can pack as much stuff on a touring bike as you like, but this seemed to be a good compromise for me. So let's go through kind of where I'm at, what all I've done, just get an overview look at the bike. So let's start with the very first modification that I made, which was the Brooks saddle. If you're familiar with Brooks saddles, then you already probably know everything I'm going to say, which is they have a reputation for being comfortable after break-in. And I wanted something different than the stock saddle that comes on the FX3. I didn't find it comfortable, so I invested in the Brooks B17 Imperial. It's a nice saddle. It's, it's gotten nice and broken in now. The Imperial has the cutout. Works really well. The second modification was to add some bar ends and had these put on by the local bike shop. And then of course after a while I decided to go ahead and wrap those. And as time went on I morphed this into to more touring. My buddy uh, started talking about wanting to maybe do a trip. So we did a trip and I wanted to prep some things for that. So the next thing I did was look at you know, how am I going to carry water and have storage. And I didn't want to do the traditional panniers like Ortlieb's or whatever panniers because I just felt like it'd be too bulky and I wanted a hybrid of sort of bike packing with maybe a little bit of flexibility and storage. So this is what I went with. I went ahead and I uh, got the Arkell dry lights, which if you've seen my video on that, you know that um, these are lightweight panniers. Small, you can't hardly get much lighter than that. I used the Bontrager rack for those, and I really have been happy with those. They give me that little bit of extra storage I need that I feel like I couldn't get in the bike packing setup. Now, I might change my mind on this in the future, but that's where we're at right now. And then we went with the Revelate Designs mountain feed bags. These mountain feed bags are nice because you can slip in a, a smart water bottle. You can put food in here, multiple smart water bottles if you want. I also went with the Revelate Designs mag tank, which I've done a video on. You can have a look at that. I've done a video on the feed bags as well. Also on the mag tank. And then I've got the jerry can here. What I use the jerry can, the Revelate Designs jerry can for is just to put bike tools in. So I carry patch repair, tire levers, uh, a little bit of sunscreen, things like that. So when I started out I was putting my tent and everything on and just in a dry bag on top of here but what I found was I had a lot of weight on the back of the bike and I really wanted to try to move some weight forward. So I started investigating things and of course you can't go wrong with Ortlieb. I like their, I like their products. So I started looking at the handlebar roll and the accessory pack just to have some extra storage. So I carry my tent and my uh, mattress, inflatable uh, mattress in there. And that's what I use that for. I added on the Ortlieb frame bag, which is the large frame bag. I found it fit pretty well in the Trek and it still gave me room. Uh, this is the, the like 20 inch frame. Still gave me room for the uh, pump. I wanted to put a decent pump in there, so that's the, the Road Morph G mini pump. Um, I'm going to do a review on that at some point because I've been extremely happy with that, and I have used it. And then I wanted to just have some places if I wanted to, to translate this into more food or to carry more water or additional things. I added the Salsa Anything cages, and... I'm showing you here one with a bag, so if you want to put things like food or your cook kit or things like that in the bag, you can. Or you can put an Algene bottle. You can see you can strap just an Algene bottle to it if you'd like. Um, that works as well. And then, of course, you guys have watched 
any of my videos, you know that I replaced the tires recently with the Schwabi Marathon Plus Tour. That really changed the ride of the bike. Um, it, much better, actually. Uh, it just handles and feels differently. So what this did is it moved more weight forward for touring and then lightened things up on the back just a little bit. I've got plenty of room now to put multiple things in. So this is uh, the setup I came up with. So here's kind of a view of the cockpit. It's kind of hard with the way the sun's shining. Um, and how it looks. And here is a view of the front. So after about, gosh, I've probably got 1,500 or 2,000 miles. I've found something that I've been very, very happy with. Um, the ride is still relatively light. On, you know, obviously you can put as much stuff in there as you want. Um, it's, you're going to overload a bike all you want. I'm trying to keep things semi-light as I can. Um, I keep, I use this uh, for my cell phone and things like that. Snacks, little, little snacks if I want to carry. Same for the accessory pack. You know, there's just all kinds of little nooks and crannies that I can store things and put stuff in. So that's where we're at with the, with the FX3. Been very happy with it. Um, would I change anything? Uh, I don't know. Maybe in the future, but I think I'm learning as I go, and I think that's kind of the point. As you do this a little bit, you'll, be, you'll get better at uh, figuring it out. So anyway, that's a 1,500-mile, 2,000-mile. I don't know exactly where I'm at. Somewhere in between 1,500 and 2,000 probably. Review of the Trek FX3. Overall, I've been happy with the bike. been pleased with uh, everything. Thanks for watching. Consider giving us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll be back with more vids. See you.